I don't get it. What's wrong with calling them meltdowns? In society at large, meltdown is most commonly used by judgmental parents to describe their prepubescent children's inappropriate displays of intense emotion. It's not a term that is used empathetically or supportively. It's a term of invalidation. It's not the only way it's used. It's also used to describe when a nuclear reactor exceeds critical temperature and risks breach of radioactive contaminants and nuclear fallout that can kill all life in a given radius. Okay, maybe that's not the best association. Yeah, when you're feeling intense emotions, do you want people to either think of you as an immature child or the cause of a nuclear holocaust? So what actually is a, the thing we're not calling a meltdown? When my nervous system becomes overloaded by sensory or emotional input, I either have an emotional spillover where I'm highly emotionally expressive, like sobbing or needing to yell even if it's in a room by myself, or I go into shutdown and I'll often not even be able to talk and sometimes not even be able to move. So it's not a panic attack? No, that's different. And not an anxiety attack? Nope. And not a nervous breakdown? No, it's a sensory overload resulting in either intense emotional expression or shutdown. We should let doctors come up with a medical name for it. Why pathologize it? We don't need a name for when Christy finds out her boyfriend of three years cheated on her and she's screaming and crying and throwing things in her emotional distress, or later when she hasn't gotten off the couch in five days. It's the same biological response. Autistic people just have a different threshold and different triggers for this kind of natural, healthy, human response. Good luck getting people to empathize. The first step is changing the language that actively reinforces harmful stereotypes.